struggling with low FPS in Minecraft. In this video, I put the two biggest performance mods, Optifine and Sodium 2, to the test. We'll see who wins in the FPS battle, go over their pros and cons, and I'll show you exactly how to install both. Find out which one is right for your setup. Ever wondered why your Minecraft still lags even after installing Optifine? You're not alone. For years, Optifine has been the king of Minecraft performance, but is it still the best? A new challenger called Sodium has emerged from the modding scene, claiming to blow everything else out of the water. First, let's quickly install both. Don't worry, it's super simple. For Sodium, it's almost as easy, but we need a mod loader. We'll use Fabric. Go, go to the Fabric website, download the Fabric installer, and in the other corner, Sodium is part of the Modrinth modding scene, and it does one thing, and it does it incredibly well, raw performance. Performance. It's a complete rewrite of Minecraft's rendering engine, focusing purely on eliminating bottlenecks and squeezing out every last frame. It doesn't have the bells and whistles like shader support or texture pack animations on its own. It's a pure FPS machine. For Optifine, you just go to Optifine.net, download the version that matches your Minecraft, the legend itself, Optifine. If you've ever looked up a Minecraft FPS boost video, you know this one. It's an all-in-one package. We're talking about FPS boosts, built-in shader support, HD texture packs, connected glass, zoom functionality, and a ton of visual customization options. It's the Swiss Army knife of Minecraft mods. Hey, if this tip is helping you get more FPS, then you're going to love the other videos on my channel. Don't forget to subscribe. I have tons of guides on boosting FPS, fixing lag, and making shaders work on low-end PC that will help you out a lot. Now back to the test. Let's quickly install both. For Optifine, run the .jar file, it installs itself, easy. You will then see a new Optifine profile in your Minecraft launcher. Just follow my steps, it's easy. All right, to install Sodium, we first need to install Fabric. Here's how you do it, step by step. Run the Fabric installer, just double click it. In the installer window, make sure the Minecraft version matches the version you want to play. Just leave the loader version as it is, then click install, and that's it. You'll get a success message, Fabric is now installed. Once that's done, you'll need two files, the Fabric API for Modrinth or CurseForge, and Sodium itself. Once that's done, you'll need two files, the Fabric API for Modrinth or CurseForge and Sodium itself. For many fabric mods to work properly, you also need the fabric API. Just go back to Modrinth, search for fabric API, download the version that matches your game. Now let's see how to install, just follow my steps, it's easy. Press Windows plus R in the keyboard and percent app data percent. Open your Minecraft Mods folder and drag both downloaded files into it. Before we launch the game and see these shocking FPS results, if you haven't already, make sure to subscribe to the channel. My previous videos are packed with guides on boosting FPS, fixing lag, and optimizing shaders that will help you get the most out of your PC. They will help you a lot. Now, let's launch the game and see the truth. First, let's establish our baseline. We're going to launch Minecraft with no mods, completely vanilla. Let's see what the FPS is like on a default world with the same settings we'll use for our tests.
as you can see with no performance mods we're getting around 200 to 360 fps you can notice the stutters and lower frame rate especially when we turn quickly uh this is our starting point now let's see how much of an improvement we can get all right now for the moment you've been waiting for minecraft with the legendary optifine installed this is the mod that most of us have been using for years i'm genuinely excited to see how much of an improvement we get over our vanilla baseline and there it is Look at that, we've jumped from our vanilla 200 to 360 to a whopping 300 to 400 FPS. That is a massive improvement. The game already feels significantly smoother. Just like we expected from Optifine, it's clearly doing its job. But now the big question is, can Sodium do even better? Alright, we've seen what the classic Optifine can do and it was impressive. But now it's time for the main event. We're shutting this down and switching over to the mod that's been causing a huge stir in the community, Sodium. This is the specialist, the mod that promises not just to improve performance, but to completely reinvent Minecraft's rendering engine for maximum frames. The question isn't just if it's better, but how much better it really is. I'm genuinely curious to see if it can live up to the massive hype. Seriously, look at that. Remember, we started at a choppy 200 to 360 frames per second with vanilla. Optifine gave us a fantastic boost to 300 to 400 frames per second. But this, this is on another level. We are now hitting a buttery smooth 400 to 800 FPS. Look at how fluid that camera pen is. There are zero stutters, zero lag spikes. It's just pure smooth performance that it that is CT. this isn't just a small upgrade this is a monumental leap sodium has completely shattered my expectations so the winner on pure fps is undeniably sodium it's not even a contest if your only goal is to maximize your frames per second especially on a low-end pc sodium is the absolute champion but it's not that simple the best mod for you depends on what you value. Choose Optifine if you love using shaders. Optifine has built-in shader support. You want all those extra features, zoom, custom skies, connected textures, and detailed visual options in one place. You prefer a simple but one and done installation. Choose Sodium if Chewy. you want the maximum possible FPS, no questions asked. You play on a low-end PC or a laptop and every frame counts and you don't mind adding other mods for features like shaders using Iris or Zoom. Ah oh, yes, Iris. This is the game changer. Iris is a shader mod that works with Sodium so you can get Sodium's incredible performance and run shaders. It's the best of both worlds. So to wrap it up, Sodium wins on performance. Optifine wins on features choice. For most players looking for a raw FPS boost, Dumdai I'd recommend starting with Sodium and Iris for shaders, but if you've been using Optifine for years and love its convenience, it's still a fantastic mod. What do you think? Which one do you prefer? Let me know in the comments below. If this video helped you squeeze more FPS out of your blocky adventures, then smashing that like button and subscribing for more tips and tricks would help me out a ton. A huge thanks for watching. This has been Optics. I'll see you in the next one. Peace out.